and glory. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Halo Wars video. Um, today I have a game, high level gameplay for you. I uh, had to cut out the beginning because really it's just both Arbiters going tumble second heading to each other's bases and collecting money. YouTube doesn't let me upload more than 10 minutes so this is what I have to do. Sorry about it but that's the best I can do. So all that's going on right now is I'm gonna say uh, I'm just delaying the buildings coming up and right now I have to say I'm doing a much better job on offense than uh, this Arbiter. I want to say it's death um, but it, I think it's death playing the Arbiter. Uh, so, so I having a hard time. It's my first commentary with a, a gameplay, so I'm just gonna try and stop the rambling, and I'm just gonna talk about the game purely. Okay. Uh, so right now I'm getting a bless uh, pad because I'm controlling the front of his base, so I know he won't get any suicide grunts through. So I know it's safe to build a blessed there. Um. Also, I've got him down three building spots already, as you can tell, and I haven't done anything, you know, anything special. It's just what I do. I'll be putting up a, a video one of these days on how to do base damage like this and how to get a lead like this early, because I find that, yeah, I, I would have to say every Arbiter I play, except for Limits, uh, always gets, like early warehouses down from me like they always end up being like two or three down by like three or four minutes and it, to be honest it's because they don't really know what they're doing you can't improvise when you're on arbiter on arbiter base damage it doesn't work you have to know what to hit when and why you have to know what to build when and why you can't just be like oh I'm gonna hit this pad now and oh uh, maybe maybe I'll build a summit here now and maybe I'll get a turret no that's really stupid okay that's not how you do this and that's why arbiters don't beat me uh, and I before I start getting messages about people saying oh well I beat you the other day not with arbiter you didn't okay and even if you did my teammate did something really stupid um, yeah so Right now I'm just doing my little turret block trick where I can I can I can go inside. Like most people when they attack the front pads and there's a back turret they get hit by it, but not me. I just walk in between the citadel neck and the pad and double tap and see as you can see the turret's not shooting me anymore. And I'm going to do this quite a few times and if you'll notice you have to guard the health of your arbiter because I'm expecting tanks any minute from yellow and I don't want to be hurt where he just insta cannies me. Now, uh, yeah, so, and I'm doing it again. See how the turret is not hitting me. That's huge. The turret's always, like, I don't really know what he's doing right now. He He's trying to hit my summit, but really, I don't expect my summit to get up, okay? He has no choice but to hit it, which allows me to get blesseds. Now he's going to let me hit his turret and never, never rage a turret more than twice. Okay, it should bring it to low red bar after two rage hits. Okay, you, always I see people like hit it the third time. Why are you spending fifty dollars to take down a red bar turret? Like seriously, spend the hundred bucks, the two hits, and don't. Yeah, <clears throat> now he's upgrading his turrets in the back, and and I gotta tell you, you don't upgrade your turrets in the back. Now Bison makes a, a huge micro mistake here. He should have had all his tanks closer together. And uh, he wouldn't have actually taken on that much damage because the closer they are together, remember, a rage is a splash damage attack. So if he puts his tanks closer together, not only does it make them harder to rage, but if he hits the tank, then it's going to splash other tanks. So that's what you want to do. And here I get insta cannied, and it was a big mistake on my part, but... I didn't intend on raging those tanks anyway, and I didn't want to have to recall and ask my teammate for a heal, because Bison's the kind of player who is, I'd like to say, a build monster. So I don't like to keep my RB alive unless necessary with him, because he has very beautiful, very, very powerful builds. And when he's left alone like he is right now, 
he will roll the entire field and I don't need an arbiter all I need right now is I am ahead of the other arbiter and if you follow this philosophy if you're ahead of the arbiter you want to go for tech 2 ASAP you don't just because you get a summon up first doesn't mean you go banshees that is very stupid okay as arbiter you never go banshees if you're ahead unless you're so far ahead they're just really really newbie but I'm talking about high level here so you just go tech to advance and because I don't want to rebuild my arbiter and tech my arbiter and give him a possible air lead back I'm just gonna become a brute chieftain right now and only go air okay so I'm just gonna double pump the vamps until I get air lead which shouldn't be too many vamps and then I'm gonna double pump banshees and we're gonna 2v1 the the yellow cutter which I think is ambient chaos I'm just gonna call him chaos alright if I'm wrong I'm sorry and to you okay so now we're gonna make a push here because I know we have air lead and I know he doesn't have a summit and I know he doesn't have an RB so we're just gonna do a hit and run like we don't wanna we don't wanna kill this base if we kill it awesome see this Mac's gonna flash see most people don't know that you if you wait for the Mac and you see it flash then you move and you're you're about to see it again here in a second here watch Bison's gonna drop a Mac here and you'll see it flash when he's clicked green on it flash boom see that so people get scared when they see a Mac but really all you gotta do is wait for the sound and flash and it, you shouldn't get hit by a Mac blast ever unless you're choke pointed but anyway so as you can see we're not pursuing the tanks we're not going in front of the base. We're staying on the side of this base because we want to be able to escape like right now. He has power turret. We don't. Now we know we're getting power turret, so we're just going to fall back and notice how we had that exit. We stripped a couple buildings. We stripped his summits. Now right now I should stop going vampires and start going banshees right now. I think I do this shortly. I think maybe right now. Yeah, right now. So you can see how I built nine vans, it's probably too many, but you know, you better be safe than sorry. Right now I make a mistake. Uh, it pay it ends up working because he she's trying to get a summon and makes him stay on defense. It makes him think we're still attacking. Uh, you know, but really they could have been making a push right now and but seeing the tanks there, I decided, you know, we're just gonna stay. Uh yeah. So, uh, right now, like, this map's all about, uh, a good defense, and, and, uh, but, but as you can see, like, Chaos here, like, he is, he's so tied down, like, he's having to deal with both of us, like, his teammate Arbiter, I don't want to badmouth him or anything, I'm sorry if you guys are watching this video, but, I'm sorry, the Arbiter lost this game for you, first he was three buildings down from me, okay, then he loses his RV trying to rage tanks and he doesn't kill a tank. And then he tries to get shielded and he, he just got outplayed by the Arbiter and caused this situation where they're having to play defense, 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 defense against two armies and all Chaos has to fight both of us. He can't do it. He physically can't put them on his shoulders right now. And Chaos, I have to say that you played a very good game, a very good game, and had your Arbiter been slightly better and this game would have went on a very long time and who knows maybe you would have won um so I'd like to say chaos very good game and, and I'm sorry I had to put this game up but it was the best game I've found in a while like uh, I'm also gonna put up a loss very shortly guys I have a loss already that I played against pursue all day and I forget the other guy's name oh S pro Calitry that's right so anyway, as you can see, Death has been defeated, and now all we want to do is fight as many tanks as we can and just crunch the tanks and finish the game. So flash. Boom. See how the Mac goes after the flash? So you, you don't move until you see the flash, and you have enough time to dodge. Like It's the same with the carpet bomb. You can see it being laid out, and then you move. You know, People just micro, 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 and then they lead the carpet bomb or lead the Mac, and you get hit. You don't need to move until you see it. You know? Uh, so anyway, we're just going to push up through the middle, uh, and uh, coming near the end of the video, I'd like to say thank you to my new subscribers. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, rate, subscribe. 
Uh, you guys are doing a really good job giving me ideas. I hope to bring some more game gameplay very soon. And I love you all. Smug Big Bird out. All units.